1974, a little over a week before he and Mickey Mantle were inducted into the Hall of Fame together, Whitey Ford's number 16 was retired by the Yankees. Earlier today on social media, the Yanks posted pictures of tonight's uniforms featuring the patch honoring him. Bob Lorenz and John Flaherty back with you once again. We got to grow and love, well, everybody loved Whitey Ford at big events at Old Timers Day. And you even got to see him not only at Old Timers Day, but spring training and be around him. Yeah, around him in spring training. But my greatest memory of Whitey Ford is 2009 when the Yankees opened up the new stadium. I'm Yankees were nice home enough home to home invite home. me to be a Yankee legend to, like, circle the infield. I was embarrassed to be there, right? But it was all about alphabetical order. I get announced. I walk out to my spot. Who's behind me? but Whitey Ford walking towards me and I, I was almost embarrassed to be standing there and he comes up right next to my right side and he kind of leans in and he said kid uh, who are they playing today who are they opening up with and I said Mr. Ford they're opening up with the Cleveland Indians and he proceeded to go on about an opening day start that he had against Cleveland and he won that game and I don't even remember any of that Bob <laughs> I actually remember being smart enough to look around and take it all in and realize Whitey Ford is talking to me on a new Yankee Stadium field. It's a moment that, that'll live with me forever. Yeah, Flaherty and Ford right next to each other. All right, Paul O'Neill showed his love earlier today, tweeting a picture of himself and Whitey together wearing their pinstripe finest. And right now we want to hear some recollections about the legend from Paul, Michael Kay, and Buck Showalter. And Paul, let's start with you. That's a great tribute on social media. Well, it's one of the things you uh, get to do as a New York Yankee. You get to, to meet uh, Yogi and Mickey and Whitey, and they were always together. And, uh, you know, I remember the first year going out there, going out on the field. It was such a tradition uh, for the Yankees to have the uh, all-time greats uh, out on the field. And it's the first time that it kind of struck me as I'm somewhere different. This is a franchise that uh, loves its history and loves its winning. Uh, there was always a twinkle in his eye, and I, I was listening to Flash talk. It was always Kid. How you doing, Kid? And that day, that picture was the last uh, old-timers uh, old day, and I remember walking down the tunnel, and, you know, Yogi and Whitey are always the last called. And I said, Whitey, you got to hustle up, man. He's kind of scuffling around. He's like, shut up, Kid. I'm sprinting. And I tell you what, he sprinted <laughs> to the finish line. Well, he was an amazing guy, and, uh, you know, Paul talked about the relationship with Yogi, and uh, I was lucky enough to be involved in the old-timers days uh, at the old stadium, and just when Yogi and Whitey and Mickey and Billy were together, they just lit up, and, and Paul said it best, it's hard to articulate, but when Whitey Ford was in a room, there was sort of a magic, there was a sparkle in his eye. His, his mouth, the sides of his mouth were always turned upwards. He always seemed to be smiling. He was enjoying life, and what a life it was. It was a great American life. A kid born in Manhattan and then moved to Astoria, Queens, and makes it with the Yankees and, and pitches a brilliant game in Game 4 against the Phillies in 1950, and he became one of the all-time greats. He has the greatest winning percentage of any pitcher in the 20th century. He has six World Series titles, and two of them were taken away. He would have had eight because he was not on the 51 and 52 World Series championship teams because he served in the military. And I also had the honor and the privilege of being called kid by Whitey Ford. He was a delight to be around, always had a smile, always had a great line and a quip. And uh, he's really the last of the old guard, the, uh, the Monument uh, Park old guard, uh, the, the Mount Rushmore of Yankee greats that is now gone. And it's sad. It's a sad moment for sure. But boy, what a heck of a life. And uh, I think he enjoyed every second of it.